The Xtool M1 Ultra is a fantastic multi-purpose machine that can do all sorts from laser cutting to inkjet printing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a couple of quick projects with the M1 Ultra and all I'm going to use is my phone. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. First up, I'm going to very simply make a multicolored sticker from a photo. My son asked me how he could have a slightly bigger version of this sticker he was given and the M1 Ultra has all of the tools needed. The first thing to do is take a picture of the image I want to turn into a sticker and then open up the XCS app. Now it's best to be connected to the M1 Ultra whilst using the app or to at least have connected to it previously before creating a project. With the phone connected, I hit the plus to create a project. I now need to import that picture I just took from the image option at the bottom. This imports the image onto our canvas. Now it's time to clean that image up, ready for printing. When you click on the image, the design options appear. If you then click edit image, you can use the magic wand feature to just tap on anything you want to remove. You can zoom in and out to be more precise. And then when the majority of what you don't want has been removed, you can then click on the eraser button and then erase anything else that's left. The next option along lets you crop in to your image. And then just tap the tick and you're left with just the parts that you'll want to print. You can then hit the size option and make the image whatever size you want. I want my image 80 millimeters wide. Okay, then with the image selected, you can click on outline, which will draw a line a set distance from the edges of your image. You can change this distance using the slider and you can even uh, remove the inner outlines too, which is what I'm going to do. So now we have our image edited and sized correctly. And now we just need to select what to do with it. In the settings menu, the mode I'm choosing is multi-module processing. And the material is A4 printing paper. The reason I choose multi-module processing rather than inkjet printing is that I want to use a blade to cut the sticker out afterwards. Therefore, it's multiple modules. Now, when we go back and tap on our image again in the parameters, we can change the module to ink module. Now, if we select the outline, which is a little bit tricky. We can change the module to fine point blade. Now what you can do is you can select either of those and edit the parameters if you want to, or you can just go with the default. I'm going to just change the intensity of the image as I find it just gives a better image with the glossy paper I'm using. Now, before trying to move the image around to put it where you want it on the canvas, I would suggest grouping everything by just dragging over everything and in design, hit group. Now, the outline and the image are tied together and you can move it around your canvas wherever you want it to be. Now, obviously, before trying to process anything, make sure you've got the right module set up on your M1 Ultra and you've got your material loaded. I've done both of these, so I can now hit process and then frame the job. As soon as I get my beep, I can start the framing process. I'm happy with the positioning of that. So I just need to remove the cover from the inkjet module. And then hit process. And it's gonna take three and a half minutes. Now I'm gonna hit start and the job will run once. We've set the height and we get our beep and then we'll press the silver button to start the job. As you can see, there was nothing particularly complicated there. And for some of these simpler jobs, it can often be a lot easier to just pick up your phone rather than firing up a laptop. There we go, it's all done. And there we have our new sticker. Now, you may have heard of PCBWay, our video sponsor, but do you actually know what they do? PCBWay offer a full PCB or printed circuit board manufacturing service, whether you're looking for a prototype or mass production. But they also offer a lot of other services that you might not know about. 
PCBWay also now offer 3D printing, CNC machining, metal fabricating, plus many more options to help you get that project made. Check out their website from the link in the description for an instant quote on your design and $5 off your first order. The next project I'm going to do is to cut my logo out of some heat transfer vinyl so that I can transfer it onto some clothing and create my own merch or just a t-shirt with my logo on that I can wear. This one is probably even simpler, but we need to change the way we do things very slightly. First off though, we need to again create a new project and insert our image. I have this logo saved as a PNG, but you can use other formats too. With my image on the canvas, I can again edit the image using the magic wand to remove everything I don't want. I just want to leave the black line, so I'm removing the white as well as the blue from this image. Once I have only what I want left, I can hit the tick and then use the trace image feature to trace round everything that's left. You can play around with the sliders if you like to try and make things a little more accurate or uh, refine things a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with what I've got there. With the trace complete, your project is now made up of multiple layers, which you can see. It can be a little bit confusing as to which layers you're working on. So it's best, I find, to hide anything that you don't want to be working on. And obviously if you select the wrong thing, just change it. So now I'm just left with that cutting trace around my logo. Now, as before, you just select size to change the size of the image you might want. I want it to be 100 millimeters wide. And now you can move that around, put it wherever you like. Top left corner is where I usually start. Now, again, we need to go into the settings and set the mode and material that we're going to use. Now, the mode this time will be a blade cut and the material will be a heat transfer vinyl. Now, the only thing I want to do now is to put a box around the logo so that I don't waste any material and I just cut out the vinyl around the outside. To do this, you just select a shape. I'll go with a rectangle and then you just place it around your logo. There we go, that'll do. And then I'm just gonna group all of those things together so that if I move it around again, everything stays relative to each other. And because of the way that heat transfer vinyl works, you need to reflect the whole image so that it comes out the right way round. So again, before you do anything, you need to make sure that you've got the right modules in the machine and the correct material loaded. Once you're happy that everything is ready to go, you can hit process and frame the image to check or just go for it and cut out your new design. Now it's just a case of weeding out what I don't want and using a heat press to transfer the image onto my t-shirt of choice. As you can see, jobs like this are very easy using the XES phone app. You have a lot of features at your fingertips with only a smartphone and you don't have to invest in a computer to get the most out of your M1 Ultra. If you don't know about the M1 Ultra, then check out this video where I try out all of its features and show a lot more of what it can do in an in-depth video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.